Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I am here today to do another thread up 15 piece rescue box mixed jewelry unboxing. And so this guy, uh, they're available really, really occasionally on thread up site. They cost $44. And so basically there's no rhyme or reason as to when they become available. They just pop up and you ha if you happen to catch them at the right time, you might be lucky enough to get one. And so, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise, No Low Collectibles. I do jewelry unboxings, unbaggings, thrift store hauls, thread up hauls, estate sale hauls, all jewelry related content. I am a jewelry enthusiast. I am a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay. My shop name there is Nola Collectibles. And so yeah, that's the long and short end of it. Let's get right into it. I'm super excited because like I said, these tend to not become available as regularly as they did in the past. And I think that's because, you know, thread up they used to sell jewelry but they don't anymore but they will gladly take your jewelry when people do closet clean outs and send all their stuff in the thread up so here we have just a whole bunch kind of like of bubble envelopes and this and that is everything and so let's pick one of these and and kind of like get right to it I have my loop I have my magnet I have my mandrel I have everything I think we need to figure out what we have. Okay, so I'm going right here and right off the bat, there's this super heavy gold tone necklace. It's got a fold over clasp, which I think I'm in the process of breaking my nails trying to open. <laughs> okay, we got it. Okay, it is a brushed gold tone, um, statement -y kind of 80s style, 70s, 80s style necklace. And this is kind of, it's like, all caught up on itself. I'm trying to make this smooth. Ooh. Okay, got it. I didn't want to break it. Oy. Okay. Kind of the way they folded it to put it into the bag, like I think they may they may have okay, here we go. I think I'm wondering if it was damaged, you know, because they the way they had to fold it to get it into this bag. Um, you know, required some maneuvering. So this is a vintage Napier necklace. So you can see it's um, brushed gold tone and also satin gold. And I mentioned it had has this fold over clasp. And so this is very interesting because uh, sometimes you get vintage in, in thread up. I would say it's a little bit outside of the norm because it tends to be a lot of contemporary brands. But yeah, this one is a Napier. So just a Napier gold tone, brushed gold. Uh, really pretty kind of like a statement collar necklace right there. So that's the first piece we've got folks Very very nice nice piece. I'll have to look that up. I do have the the Napier book So I'll have to look um, look into that to see if I can identify this piece on there I don't know if you've ever seen the Napier book. It is Gigantic it is it's gotta be like I don't know, Over a hundred pages. I mean, it's super super thick and it is has beautiful photography it has beautiful imagery um great history of the brand and whatnot um maybe i'll do maybe i'll do like um a video just focusing on napier or we can showcase the book and, and talk about it a little bit more so here we have there was some loose jewelry in there also you know i had this in the last box too there's these really cute polka dot bags in there which is very surprising that's the nicest i've ever seen anything coming from thread up and so we have some costume jewelry pieces here this one is looking like possibly a sterling silver maybe an anklet because it is a little bit longer and it just has like little uh, beads and like leaf detail and i see a, a purity metal mark there and so yeah that's looking like sterling so we've got like a little I think this is an anklet. And then two little rings came flying out of there and it's looking like these are just costume jewelry rings here. A little elongated one and that one is actually missing the rhinestone right there, silver tone. And this one as well, the, uh, silver tone again with just like some pink kind of rhinestones there. And you can see this is these are just costume jewelry pieces, let's see. It's too bad, this one's like missing a stone, so. And those guys look like that and so uh that was in the first bag those are the contents of the first bag really quick um since you guys 
had to ask him about my jewelry today. I just have a vintage molded glass bracelet, this panel link bracelet here. Those are really pretty molded glass. This is definitely vintage and has a fold over clasp. And then I paired it here with this um, Chrysocolla ring here in sterling silver. And this has a super high setting. You can see it's like kind of like a princess setting, very high off the knuckle. Uh, it's just a very, you know, it's very different. It's also sizable. It's, it's got a split shank on the back and so yeah anyone can really wear it I just think it's cool and so yeah and it goes well I think with the panel bracelet right it's got a little bit of a similar vibe going on and so these items both um, are available currently in my eBay shop so anyway moving on let's get back to thread up I'm gonna go right here to this little baggie this bubble wrapped baggie right here and see what we got oh so cute Little pair of pineapple rhinestone Kate Spade earrings. So adorable. Price on the back, $58. These are really cute. It says just, um, oh no, it's, yeah, 58 US, 68 Canadian. It says um, clear, go clear gold by the pool Kate Spade. So cute. I love me a pineapple. So adorable. The pineapple, the symbol of hospitality in the South. And so people, pineapples were hard to come by. So they would place, give people pineapples if they were visiting their home as a kind of a token of thanks for allowing me to visit your home. And then they would put their pineapple on display. So the times have changed. But I think these are absolutely adorable. I love them. Yay, super cute Kate Spade earrings. Yes. All right. Also in there is this kind of modernist silver tone Bit, uh, cuff bracelet here you can see it's like open and it has rhinestone kind of capped details on the ends there and this one I'm not seeing anything on it, it just looks like maybe like a costume jewelry piece but it looks like it would have maybe come from like an Ann Taylor or something like that very cute modernist that also in my little baggie here I have a pair of chandelier crystal earrings, and these are Givenchy. Okay, so we have some modern Givenchy uh, Aurora Borealis gold tone crystal earrings here, and these are actually very pretty. Um, you know, G uh, Givenchy currently, I believe, you know, they've s sold a license to Macy's, I believe, and they sell currently in Macy's. So it's uh, very different from when you find older vintage Givenchy the quality is a little bit different the price points are definitely lower and so the value is not as high as a lot of those um, older Givenchy pieces but these are pretty uh, regardless I think they're really really nice like I said gold tone I love a good chandelier earring and nice for the holidays don't you think I think these are always always a very nice like very sparkly good condition so yeah that's that's cute that would probably look, this would look beautiful. I think just if you wear your hair up, this would be really lovely. Nice. Okay. I'll take it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Going into the next bag. I had a fun day today, you guys. I actually woke up early and there was like a, a whole bunch of like church rummage sales today. And so I woke up super early and uh, headed out to the church rummage sales and it was awesome i had like the best thrifting is at the church rummage sales because the prices are so low so i i cleaned house um anyway so this little baggie here and it says um it's say like made in china on this bag but then there's also a little um there's kind of like a little certificate of authenticity of uh, this containing swarovski crystals and so this is a pair of earrings with what i can only assume uh has a Swarovski crystal componentry on it and I mean they do look very Swarovski they're very very shiny and very faceted uh they look brand new they're in a rose gold these are pretty I like these I I, I like they're kind of like a pave of crystals like you can see that they're not individually set and they're different sizes they're varying sizes so it actually creates I think a very interesting kind of effect for the earring um, very sparkly and so very pretty purples and blues clears and some pinks in there as well just a nice array of colors there set in a rose gold so I think these are very pretty I like them very nice okay and then we have this 
which is says uh, just as like a birch hill and this is just a kind of like mall jewelry brand I want to even say that this might be like a Ross brand and or um, what would be comparable to Ross I forget the store that I think this comes from um, yeah I'm, I'm drawing a blank but yeah it's it's definitely like lower end costume jewelry it just says yeah made in China but it is brand new and so this is a Kind of looks like this. I think we've seen this in lots of different iterations. I've seen this in peach and in the uh, different colors. So yeah, we have like at least it's brand new. So it's not in in you know bad condition. It's in brand new condition. So that's not terrible. Let's see what else we got. I have another Ziploc bag here. We've got bag inside of the bag, and let's check this one out. Let's hey here. It does have something scanned. It says Chelsea. I don't know if that's accurate what or what that might mean but there is here ooh, a sterling silver pendant there's something written on it I'm trying to see very difficult to see i'll have to look at it but it's um a really pretty sterling silver heart pendant on chain and this one is looking like that probably has some cubic zirconias um but this is very pretty very nice. And the chain is also looking like sterling silver. Yes. That I, that I can see. Um, it says 925 India. The chain is from India. Not sure if the pendant is from India, but that's very pretty. Nice. Very, very nice. So pr very pretty and, and a decent size too. Like this is um, something that would make, I think, a really sweet Christmas gift or just a gift in general. Very nice. Your sweetheart. Um, a loved one, a mom, a sister, whatever, what have you. I think that's very nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. And I think we're getting here kind of like to the end a little bit. Here I have, I have a chunky, and this one is bobble bar. A chunky statement, plas uh, plastic beaded, braided kind of necklace here. And this is bobble bar, so bobble bar. Bubble Bar, I think, is the parent, parent Bubble Bar is a parent company of Sugar Fix. Sugar Fix is what was created for Target specifically and exclusively. And Bubble Bar, I believe, is the parent company. So here we have gold tone with the pink beaded plastic. Not a bad look, right? But I think, you know what? It, it, it is like Bubble Bar used to actually be really expensive. And I think the fact that they created a diffusion line for Target kind of brought the value down quite a bit. So where it used to sell like for you know very good money, it's now it's it's pretty low like in the resale market. Um, here we have a Chico's new tag Chico's necklace, and this guy's looking like that. And so this one is just gold tone with a modernist uh, pendant kind of right here, east to west orientation. Nice oversized lobster claw clasp, which makes it really easy to put on. It's got the Chico's tag there. It's got a Chico's tag here. So brand new, never worn. And this guy originally retailed for $39. It looks like it was marked down at $24.99. So, yeah, brand new Chico's, new with tags, necklace here. And what else? One bag left, you guys. And this is it. This is, um again, I think the jewelry here, there's some pieces. It's, it's very clean. It's very wearable. I'm not really seeing kind of like that rescue portion of it, like <laughs> that it is, and that's great. Okay, so in here, I just pulled out is an Ancline Gold Tone Ancline Bracelet Watch. And this has a, it's a satin gold, and this is actually a very, very nice square face, um, crystal crystal bezel at, at, the, um, at the 12 o'clock mark. That guy's looking like that. I'm just checking out the back. This will be very easy to put pop a new battery in. It has, oh, it has the adjustable links in the back too, so that you can either leave them in or take them out to adjust the size as needed. And so this is a nice, I think this is a really nice incline watch. And like I said, I think too, this will be an easy battery replacement. I'll just pop that back off. And um, yeah, that'll be very easy. So I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll, can't speak. I'll include a link to my watch battery replacement kit that I bought off of Amazon down in the video description below. So if you're interested in giving it a shot, I will tell you some watch backs are, are much easier to get off than other types. This one is very easy. 
And so I don't think this will be a problem, but some of them definitely are tricky. I'm not going to lead you on to say like they're super all easy to get off because they're definitely not. <laughs> Your mileage may vary. <laughs> Mine definitely does. So that's cute. That's a great little incline watch. Very, very good. And so I think we have this, just another little polka dot envelope. Let's see what we got in here. I'm really digging these little bags. I'm probably going to reuse them. I do, I don't know if you guys are where I do um, mystery boxes in my Etsy store. And so for $24.99, you get 10 pieces of wearable jewelry and I customize them. So if you tell me what your preference is, if you like business casual, if you like casual casual, if you like necklaces and you want old necklaces, or you like a certain color schemes, if you only like blues or golds, or you only wear silver, or you, you know, you like dangling earrings, hoop earrings, you tell me and I will customize and hand pick an assortment of jewelry for you. Uh, 10 pieces for $24.99. And so uh, I get some repeat customers. I think people really enjoy it. It's fun. It's kind of like getting a Christmas present. It's like a thread up box. Um, and only it's better because you, you get to tell me what you want. So uh, if that's something that you might be interested, go check out my Etsy store. I only sell it on the Etsy and not on eBay. Um, two pairs of stud earrings in here. This one just like a corally, salmony, pink, pretty stud earring. And these are plastic, but I do like the way they look. I think they're they're pretty nice. They're that good size where they make just enough of a statement. And then in here also looks this looks like a brightened pair of earrings hold on a second I, i'm fairly 99 percent certain that these are bright in i will have to look them up but i'm fairly certain that they are and they're just silver tone hearts um little dangle earrings and so uh brighton earrings are not signed you guys i mean some of them are but for the most part they are not but if you go into google like if you go into google if you go into ebay and you look up brighton earrings you should get a feel for what they look like. I mean, also if you like, can identify Brighton jewelry, then you'll, you'll recognize the earrings when you co start coming across them. But yeah, they are typically not signed. So that looks like to me a pair of Brighton earrings. So that's very nice and very good condition. And is that everything? I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. All right, well, look, I lied. See, there was one more thing hiding out in the bottom of this bag. And this one is, and Sugar Fix. We just, uh, I think we brought, we definitely brought this into existence by calling its name. Um, <laughs> so yeah, some Sugar Fix gold tone tassel earrings. So these are just blue and gold. Very, very cute. Um, nice. This is great for summer, great for spring. You know, they have that kind of like islandy vibe, that summery, like warm weather vibe. And so these are very, very cute, I think. And in good condition. So, okay, a pair of tassel earrings. I'll throw those guys over there. So that's everything, you guys. Um, shall we count? Let's see if we got everything that we were supposed to get. Earrings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I don't know if I counted that. Fifteen or sixteen pieces. You're supposed to get fifteen. So pretty much on on the nose and I, I like I like these pieces I like the Brighton earrings are great those will definitely resell the Kate Spade earrings I love I think they're adorable the pineapples gonna have to try those on myself uh Givenchy chandeliers yes these even these little Swarovski crystal earrings those are really cute uh this sterling silver heart pendant yes New Chico's, new with tags, that's fine. That'll definitely sell. And this Ancline watch bracelet too. I will pop a new battery in there and she will be as good as new. The Napier necklace, kind of a curveball, but I like it because I like vintage and I like gold tone. I like brushed gold. So yeah, um, these earrings, meh. I mean, these rings kind of meh because this one's missing a stone and they're like costumey, but you know, the sterling silver anklet, that's cool. Overall, I'm happy. I think I'm definitely happy. I think I got some good pieces here. I will definitely make my money back. And I think it was a fun box to open. I'm, I'm into it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Again, this was the $44 thread up box, 15 pieces comes up on the website every now and then. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys being here. Give me a like on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you at the next one. Bye.